So I've been watching a children's show. It's called Bluey. It's a bit of a cultural phenomenon in Australia at the moment. It's kind of like replacing the Wiggles in a way. It's very funny. Um, I watch it with my kids. I've been watching it for the last couple of years. And hilarious show, full of heart, full of spirit, full of humour. The parents are really modern, like the dad is doing all the washing and helping with the chores around the house. And the parents are both very funny. Um, they play a lot of imaginary games with the kids. In fact, these are so funny and so good. I've been playing these imaginary games with my own kids and they love it. But I, I've always loved the theme tune to this show. It's been really well composed. And I thought, well, I, I've got to work this out on, on solo guitar, right? So uh, it's a little bit harder, but it's still relatively easy. So for parents out there who love the show, who love the show Bluey, you can learn this and play it to your kids and they'll think it's fantastic. Uh, if you didn't want to play the melody, then you could just do the chords and just sing along. So the Bluey theme is in the key of E major. So E major scale in the open position is... One octave. Two octaves. And it starts on the G sharp. And it goes down the scale. So the first melody to Bluey is frets. Four, two, zero, four on the B string, open B string, second fret B string, open E string, and then you can play C sharp B. So let's play that speed it up. So I'm playing this melody as a legato, which means I'm playing the first note on the fourth fret, which is a G sharp, and then I just pull my finger down. Then you get the next note, the F sharp. Then I pull off again. So what happens is I'm going to play two legatos. So I'm going to play, play the note, pull down, pull down. That just makes it sound cooler and it's a lot easier too. So then you play a D sharp and a B, which is the fourth fret on the second string and the B string. I'm going to play this line with my hmm, third finger and second finger on my right hand. My third finger is playing the notes on the first string and my second finger is playing the notes on the second string. That way I'm playing with just these two fingers and it's a lot easier to get going. So. Now what you can do, what I do as well, is I instead of playing at the end C sharp to B, I play. So it's a hammer on from a C sharp to a D sharp. Pull down, back to the C sharp, and then legato, pull off again. So it's a little bit tricky. So maybe it's easier to begin with just to play C sharp to B like that. It's a bit easier. So all I do now is I add the E bass because this is really over an E chord. A chord, so E major, A major. Now, if I play that melody and just add the bass note, then you've just got a fingerstyle guitar piece evolving. Now, when I hit the C sharp, I'm going to play the A bass because I'm playing an A chord. And I might just play the A and the C sharp, or maybe even the whole chord. It might be easier for you to remember just to play the A as a full chord and play the thumb on the A string and all of the fingers on the D string, G string and the B string of the chord and then use my third finger to play the E. Okay, so there's the first part of the melody. So you've got
So you play it twice, then you end on the E, like that. So you've got... Then I might, then I might mute the strings by hitting them with a percussive hit, like that. Then you play a chord sequence of E major to A major. So you've got... All you're really playing is E, 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 A, E, 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 and a bass run, which is B, C sharp, E, hammer on, and then stop. The way I play the chords, like this. What you can do is you can play it very simply just by playing the rhythm of the chord all downstrokes. So it could be as simple as just this. That would be the simplest way to play the chords. Or you can use your little finger to mute the strings by touching them but without pressing down after you play the chord. That way you get a chord that doesn't ring on too much and it's more percussive. But the way I like to do it is a bit more involved. So you've got... It's down, up, down. So I'm going to strum it with a down, up stroke. Down, up, down. Down, down. Down, up, down. Down, down. Down, up, down. What I'm doing is I'm playing continual up and down strokes with my right hand, but I'm going to mute the chord with my little finger when I don't want to hear that note. Now this takes a bit of practice to get right, but if you persist slowly, you'll get it. And you get the sound of the strumming, which is more percussive. Then you play the melody again with the bass note. Then the A one here, so. In the opening sequence of the show, they play it exactly like this, so this many times. Now that is the last time they play it, but at the end they play a group of triplets when they say the word bluey. At the end of the theme music they play a group of triplets really fast, so I wouldn't even bother playing it. It's not really necessary, but if you're wanting to get every detail of this kids show music, you can. You can do this, starting on the A. Starting on the A on the fourth string. What the triplets are is it's going up from the A to the E on the E major scale. I've written this out in sheet music, it's free. Just send me an email and I'll send it to you. See you next time.